Good morning neighbors. The sun's out nice and bright so we got to get our little tractor loaded up and we got to go do a job. That little tractor sure has come in handy not just for myself but other people around this area because so far this year I've probably done about 20 jobs. Out of those 20 jobs every single customer has actually liked the results and because I take pride in what I do that's why I try and record these videos for you guys that way if there's something that I can share with you guys uh, any kind of knowledge any kind of experience um, some mistakes that I made I try to do that with you guys that way you guys can maybe inspire later on and get your own subcompact tractor for your farm and then take it out there do a little bit of extra income to so you can make payments on it like I do so all right guys so I hope you enjoy it if there's anything that you guys might want to add to it please comment below any more advice i more than welcome to do so i really do appreciate all the advice you guys give me so without further ado let me get that tractor loaded and then i'll meet you over there in the work site all right so welcome back i want to show you a little bit of the before and then we're going to time lapse it and show you how the results come out i will stop in between and kind of give you my thought process because it is a little bit of a challenging job not really because it's a big area but just because of everything that it has in it, it has rocks stumps um, there's a power pole here close by there's a fire extinguisher so we want to make sure that we want to be careful while doing this job all right but let me give you a little quick tour of how it looks right now and then hopefully the results are really great and I'll give you the, the tour afterwards right so we got to move that rock we got to cut down that little stump there's a little hill here look like it's a stump hopefully that's all that is that we can move and we got another little hump here those two stumps that are right by that fire extinguisher we got the pole and the cable so we got to really be careful here uh, a few little more stumps we want to pull this little bush here want to pull that bush right there we got some dirt we can pull from this little hillside we can grab some of that dirt here that way you can fill out any of the holes and hopefully in the end through all this we have enough dirt to level this out and make it more of a even hump is basically what, we, what he wants to further explain that is that he can't really do much here he can't mow his lawn he can't grow anything it's just weeds brush uh hill stump you know how it goes out here in georgia right you, we don't want that we want something nice and even a nice little hump leveled out right there so that's going to be the idea we're going to go ahead and get started and see how this turns out all right let's roll
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're back home and tractor's unloaded. I didn't want to interrupt your time lapse. That's why I waited here to the end. And now we're going to quickly recap a few of the things that happened out there on the job and explain my thought process. So let's get started with the first one. That tree trunk was a little too big for my compact tractor. So instead what I did was I just dug around it as deep as I could. I think I went to get 20 inches. Once I did that, then I grabbed the chainsaw, cut it right from the lower part of it, buried it back up, and chances are very, very low that it'll come back out. All right, moving on to the second one. So on this second clip, basically there were so many roots on that little hill, just all the way across that I was only trying to grab the backhoe and kind of scrape them back. You could say kind of rake them a little bit. Um, since I don't have a thumb on my backhoe, it was hard to grab those roots and yank them out and toss them to the side. So what I was doing was I actually had to get off the tractor and cut a few of them with an axe. And then after they're cut with an axe, then I can move them with a the backhoe. So you could say that it seemed like I wasn't using my tractor to the full potential, but it's because I don't have a thumb on my backhoe. Moving on to this clip. So here, after I moved around the roots everywhere with the backhoe, scraped them up a little bit, then I went back with the front bucket, and then I inclined it all the way downward, and I started pulling it back, and it actually worked out better than I thought. I thought I was gonna have a hard time um, gathering up all those roots so I can get them out of there, and the everything would be a lot more cleared up and, and flat, but it actually worked pretty good, as you can see. And then at the end, I pushed them up against the tree. Here in this clip, I wanted to go through there a few times with the bucket uh, tilted inward and start scraping it, kind of smoothing it out, but also, also didn't only do it for that reason. I also wanted to compact that dirt a little bit more because it was so loose that I knew that if it were to start raining, since it's in a little bit of a hill, it would start washing out and make a big mess. So got to make sure that it's nice and compact before the rain. The next one is, like I said earlier, is that I pushed everything up against that tree. The reason I pushed it up against that tree is because that way I could scoop it up. Again, my, my tractor doesn't have a few attachments that would, could come in handy like a grapple. If we had the actual grapple and grabbed all the branches, all the brush, all the roots, all in one, and pick it up and move it around, it would have made it so much easier. But since I didn't have it, then what I do is I just find something that I can push my bucket up against it and kind of scoop it up. And if necessary, sometimes you got to get off the tractor and actually push them onto the bucket because you have to try to be as efficient as possible. Sometimes you just keep on trying to scoop and scoop and half of it is going to fall on the ground. So it's better just to try to do a few manual labor and get it done quicker. And once it was all said and done, the little hill started looking good. But the customer decided it would be good to go ahead and cut down a tree that was starting to lean over the roadway. And as you can see, my little tractor actually came in handy for that as well. Because it was so far leaning toward the road that if I was just cut it, it would have fell on the road, stopped traffic, or uh, potentially hit a car that was driving on by. So what we did is we parked the tractor, pushed it with the bucket, cut it underneath, and we safely were able to push it toward, towards exactly where we wanted it. And then it made it easy to pick up as well. We just scooped up all the branches tossed them where he wanted them and job was complete so there you go ladies and gentlemen those subcompact tractors really do come in handy and i can't stress enough how much i've used it here at home and how much i've helped out my neighbor so if you're in the market for buying one i would say do it all right if you have to convince your wife let me know i've been thinking about making a video how i convinced my wife on, on doing that because it took some convincing as well but we got it now and it works great and i know she really likes it as well so that pretty much wraps things up guys so i'm gonna wash up go inside and eat some dinner until next time y'all get out there and have fun <laughs>